Stop right. the count, John Malcolm said. <laughs> <laughs> right, okie dokie. So that's nah. doing something. So then I press this, and then I press this. Oh my god, a wall of text. Bish, yeah, no, Bishop's in, Dion's in. We're Are we behind, live? Is it, yeah, the we're behind the curtain now. now. We're technically oh. behind the curtain. Kev WXM is in. What's up, Kev? Bob Foot, Piley, Kev's Mark in. Halls. I saw him the other day. His personal delivery. Yeah, he's so good looking. Mate, you're him. I was masked up. I like Donatello from the Tales. Oh, yeah. 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 Got a blue one. He had a slightly different skin tone, didn't he? Did he? I didn't even notice. Mm. Was he meant to be the Black Tail? Uh. I think they just want to show, you know, we're not all the same. <laughs> it does. Uh, you know, we, we, you know, they didn't start this movement this year, did they? You know, for as much as Twitter wants to think. It was a weird know. thing, because it should have been Teenage Mutant Ninja Tortoises, because turtles live in the sea. The late night vape show's in. That have been bad. How did, bad get, on that. how did he get that name christened? Um, John Mack comes <laughs> in, Bob Clark. It's good. Oh, KP. KP. Oh, Ricky's in. Anyway, they c can they hear us? Can they hear us? Oh, we hear you. Bob Clark clearly states he can. So let's just yes. get on with it. Let's, let's get on with it. We're already late. Might as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We are live. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the new um show, chapter forty-one. Forty-one, uh, nearly a year's worth of shows. It's oh, yeah. probably been a year now. I probably have. We haven't done the math because we missed one every do. six. <laughs> <laughs> every so often we just go, yeah, nah, fuck it. Uh, so that's that's brilliant, isn't it? That's great. Um, unfortunately, it's just the two of us tonight. Um, Fortunately, they're thinking yes. They're, they're no loving it. They're super excited. But there was supposed to be a guest tonight, and that guest was supposed to be Paul McCartney from Vape Don't Smoke. But why is he not he, here, John? Tell me. He's he's redecorated. No, because he, 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 he's taken apart his studio section, um, and he was hoping that he could get it all back up for today. But he yeah. couldn't get it back. So his work have told him he's never going back in the office. He works really? for like an insurance company or something. Um, right. And they've shut their office. They've said, we like the home thing. We like the work from home thing. If if the lease is up on your building, you might as well fuck it off. There's no point. I know we've got three and a half years on ours. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Um, yeah. Yours is lovely and spanking oh, new as well. Isn't I know, we, lo we love it, but we can't not allow it in it. Um, yeah, so he's got told he's permanently from home, which so he thought, I better do something about this office. But he's literally working where he was sleeping. So you know, so he was he sort of he's, he's taking his office to be done it up, and he's halfway through that. So he was going to be here, but um, he is going to be here next week. He says, so it might be three or four next week. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Does work better with four because it fills the screen. It fills the screen nicely. So if anyone wants to sponsor the black bar section, oh yeah, go of for the it. Uh, of the thing, let us know. <laughs> Uh, and I mean literally now. Just put some on Facebook, and we'll just put it in there. I put it. I put it. Just put just add Nick across one of them. Yeah, <laughs> I have done that before. Oh, have you? Oh, I didn't know. I can't see. Can I? Mm -hmm. I don't generally watch the show back on it. You don't watch the show. You watch a Zoom. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, I didn't know that. In spite of Paul's absence, it's an absolutely jam-packed show. We've got one extra news item. We usually have three. We've got four. I went to look at. Did we not do a show last week? Yeah, we had. Uh, did we? Oh, did we, we had cut it on. Yeah, cut it on. Yeah. Well, I went to look to see if there's any new stuff, like I do for the. No, new we didn't. Movie. We didn't have a shoot. We'd no show last week. No, I don't think so. Well, went. No, to we didn't. No, we didn't. We did. No, we didn't. We did. Didn't. Didn't. Did we? No, no we, didn't. We, did. we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. I think we thought we didn't. Uh, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Definitely not. Okay. I went to look for new stuff, and there was so much new stuff. So that's. That's so excusable. After five years of this, I can say I don't know. <laughs> there was a show last week. Where's there, yeah, it's like, yeah. So, I don't no, know. Because it's, yeah. it's impossible to know for sure, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. What shoes enough. did you wear last Thursday? Yeah. Actually, I, I don't have that many shoes. No, I was going to say. There's only, I've got three pairs. It's I could have a really good guess at that. Um, 
Fox. Yeah, so that's a thing. That's a thing. Thank you for coming. In spite of Bonfire Night, if the fireworks go mental again, I'll shut the window. But um, it I seems don't know to have, what to it's do. almost like it was legally binding. It seems to have just gone really quiet at nine o'clock. It went mad. Eight o'clock at hours was yeah, like a bomb yeah. zone. Yeah. Fuck these people. Like, people haven't got enough going on with lockdown and these dickheads come by fireworks. Fucking. Twice. I just. First of all, they're a bit shit, aren't they? They are. That's it. The shit. And they're a rip-off. I mean, for what you're doing, you're literally blowing up your own money in your garden. It's firework night. Let's tackle it. We've got to talk about it, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think right. First of all, they ain't that great. No. I can see why it would impress an under eight-year-old. Yeah. So, if we agree that it's more impressive to the under eights, let's do it before their bedtime. Yeah. So it's dark at six o'clock. Get it out of the way. Do six till eight. Six till eight. Firework time. Eight o'clock. Bang. <coughs> bang. Stop. Let's stop burning our money into the the night air. We um, have a. We live in a conservation area, right? And they're only allowed to burn specific types of fuel on an open fire. Right. Um, like bigger find. So you're not allowed to. You have to use smokeless fuel. <coughs> How does that work on bonfire now? Exactly. It's fucking. This is mental. So you go. No, no. No, but there is there's exceptions, the isn't there? There's society driven exceptions. Oh yeah, I know. But do you know what I mean? We'll have one fucking rule or the other. Surely, if you can't burn specific types of coal, you can't have. And then loads of um, fucking white smoke everywhere. You can't see shit. It's a miserable old bastard. I, no, I quite no, like. I totally, I totally get what you're saying. I think. I think the garden fireworks. I think there's exceptions. I think they used to be smaller. The garden fireworks. Oh God, without a doubt. They used to just go bang, and it was fine. We all had a great time, but not, not these stupid fucking oh, things. We, without, without a doubt, when I was a kid, my dad used to. We live, <laughs> used to, well, used to live right by. Um, have you ever seen Black Cat fireworks? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, their yeah, their yeah, factory yeah. is the next village over from ours. Oh, yeah, I so, remember Black Cat Fireworks. So you used to just go um, and literally just get a box from the warehouse shop sort of thing. Yeah, uh, like a tenner or they, something. They only went about 14 feet in the air. Yeah, yeah, bang. But, and they didn't know they were. optimum viewing height. Yeah, it is. That's the thing, it is. If it's 60 foot in the air and your garden short, you don't see it. It's totally stupid. I like John Malcolm's suggestion. Just gather around your living room, set fire to £20 notes while shouting, bang. And flicking the light switches on and off <laughs> rapidly. Yeah, I think uh, the one the one exception as an adult was Millennium Night. Okay. Yeah. So because they they spent like three million pounds in like five minutes, didn't they? Yeah. The entire display was like five minutes long. I don't mind public I thought displays. That was I thought that was spectacular. I, I've got no problem with public displays. Knock yourself out. It's fine with that. I don't care. It's normally in a park in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's fine. Go mad. And, like John Malcolm was just saying, chat, is it time we review these weird things that we do? 17th yeah. century anti Catholic BS, anyway. It's like, I don't know, it seems a bit, I don't know. Oh, if the kids like it, fine. But do it while the kids are awake. Um, yeah. So that's fireworks. John, what are you drinking? What are you making? <laughs> and what did you have for lunch? Uh, yep, 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 yep. I'm drinking a lovely um, punk IPA. Uh, my wife got me. Could be obviously. anything though. It's just the glass we're seeing. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. It's a punk. Oh IPA. yeah, clearly. Um, Evidence. But, uh, I, I'm having that as my not very good one because I've got, I've got some life and deaths by vocation, nice. which I now claim is probably one of the best beers. I, I just think it's fucking amazing. It's very, very um, good. So that's lovely. For lunch, I had spinach. <laughs> I think they're spinach um, and something and oh spinach onion and cheese muffins that my wife made earlier in the week. They're really nice actually. But I like them. You can't. The spinach isn't very spinachy. Otherwise, they're a bit. What and they've got a little spinach cheese and is that you? <laughs> yeah, spinach Not cheese and me. onion muffins. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's what I had. Two. Oh, very nice. Okay, that's a little bit of cayenne pepper in them. I don't know why, but it works. It's good. Muffins. Yeah, like like an American muffin, not an okay. English muffin. like that savoury muffins. So you had a spinach sandwich. Sort of, yeah, with cheese. Yeah, sort of, I suppose. Yeah, it was, but then, 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 I'm not, not trying nice. to run it down. I'm trying to. It's just so it. easy to grab when you're on a busy day. 
Yeah, yeah. And um, why am I looking at my phone? Put it on that. Um, I have got the billet box. I re jiggled the billet box. Uh, it can only be Graham. I kind of baked it for like two weeks and then stopped and then started again. Because I really like it. So that's good. Um, Graham, yeah, it's very nice. Can I, oh, fuck, I've got to send you a kit of that. I'll send you that. Um, well, I've, I've had got. One. I know, you need another one. I saw your bottle's empty. I'll send you some more as well. What, this I've got girl? Yes. I've got Lemon Crack is back after two weeks on the Cactus Gin. I flick back to Lemon Crack in the Dvar 622 on top of the um, mix. So that is that. What are you drinking? What are you vaping? And uh, what you have for lunch? From Uncle Ben. Is it called cool? Has it changed the name yet? Who? Uncle Ben. Oh, I haven't noticed. I don't know. What are they calling it again? Rice. <laughs> no, it's uh, like the... I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. It's something no. like something corporation or, you know... Like... Even, I mean, even they admit it's... At a second, it was it was questioned, they went, okay, yeah, now nah, that's pretty Yeah, racist. they literally just went, hands up, go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they went, who is the bloke on the front? They went, <clears throat> he was a waiter in the restaurant. What is it? And they went, hey, you just work there. <laughs> that was like literally what they did. They just got a black guy from a, from a fucking restaurant or a hotel to drop him well, and put him on the fucking rice. That's off the chart. Uh, yeah, I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know how it works. But I loved that man. And then they kind of went, so well, is that bad? Is that and they went, that no. They, they made me love that man. No, it's fine. You don't know. But they it's did. I suppose ignorant. they misconceived. I don't know. I, did, I didn't. I wasn't. I don't think I was under, under any misconceptions that we had a reggae reggae sauce situation. Like, no, no, no. I, I, did, I didn't know the background of it. As soon as they said it, as soon as it was said out loud, you just went, "No, don't do that. <laughs> That's bad. You can't do that. It's fine." Yeah. Um, right. What first? Uh, lunch. I had scrambled eggs on toast. That was quite, quite. It's quite one for you. That's good. It's a bit of a refrigerator situation. Oh, that's okay. Did you do it yourself? Yeah. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> I microwaved a scrambled egg. Oh, that's no way. Yeah, I didn't think you'd like that. No. Um, although Gordon Ramsay now says that is the best way to do it. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Um, <laughs> but I, but I've he, been he concedes that you eggs. can do it like that because I saw yeah. a little chef program. As long as you didn't put, you as long as don't ever put milk in there. No. It's Not when you're microwaving it. Don't do it ever. Don't put milk in there. There's no milk in scrambled eggs. I put eggs. paprika in. It's weird. Yeah. Fair enough. And, and never salt and the eggs when before it's all you finished, cook them. Little sprinkle of soy. Oh, that's okay. As long as there was no salt in it when you cooked it. No, no. I don't fuck about with that shit. All the water just falls out. If you do that, it just separates. You've got to... Scrambled eggs, you've got to stop them way before they're finished. That's true. So you carry on cooking. I mean... But, I, but, it, but why don't people know this? Because people are dibs. <laughs> Have you not been in the country for the last six months? People are fucking stupid as shit. Yeah. Not you guys. Not you guys. Not you You're guys. not You're stupid amazing. as shit. You, you know how to use a computer because you clicked on something. It's not you. Hmm. Vaping on. The Squape. A rise. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, in there, Blast from the Past. Dandelion and Burdock. Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey's Dandelion and Burdock. Um, on on a mod which I like, it's on the Jackaroo Jewel. From See, Bandy I Bandy. reckon that's really comfy to use. It's so it makes all rubber. It it's look, like a big vapor shark. But it makes it look. It makes the tank look massive, but it isn't. It's, <laughs> but it, I think that's perfect because you're there. Then I quite like that. For me, I don't mind mods like. Yeah, it's kind of proportionate. It's not a small tank. You well, can make it small with the two mil kit and what have you. Um, it's not a small tank, and it's not a small mod, but there's something, hmm. I think they proportionally. I think it's fine. Proportionally accurate, good, very good board, uh, and it, it's one of these mods where they reckon it's you know waterproof and all that shit. That's probably quite handy for me, as long as it's like bomb proof. They say it's they say it's incredibly sturdy, and it's I like it. Um, also, I've got the fours RDA on the Gaia. In Graham. there, I've got Graham. Nice. Like the last of Graham. Last of Graham. The Y Rice launcher back on the MVP five. Check this out. 
the very last ever, ever, ever in the whole world of Trifle. I think you've probably got some. <laughs> if you want it. Everyone's got a little bit somewhere. Uh, no, I've got a whole ball. Because <laughs> oh, right. I can't fit the Nick shots in. It's not a thing. Ma- yeah. I, me and Mark, I, 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 I try it, but I couldn't. Yeah, you can't fit the Nick shots in. Do some. You can do some with it. No, it's impossible. <laughs> with a short film, you can't do it. Not, it'll always end up as 20 milligrams. And that's not enough. Um, in salt. If I use some, if I use, they must, yeah, but it seems a waste not to do something with it. Yeah, I'd give it away. That's what I normally do. I, for some sense, we start. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. I tell you something though. I, it's now. It might not seem it, but it's now been a long time. The MVP five's been in our lives. Um, is it? And I tell you what, I'm starting to notice the battery not holding up as long. Uh, yeah, it's quite the battery. I will say mine has suffered a bit as already as well, actually. Oh, the I'd battery, the battery that, life. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, see. I had noticed there was a tail off. That's the inbuilt battery thing as well, isn't it? You do yep. suddenly go, uh, yeah, it's not good. But it's like sixty pound mod. Yeah. So maybe two, you know, a year and a half, two years. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it might last forever. Not. Six months. Yeah, I think it can have an issue with batteries. To be honest. Usually the battery is what goes wrong on an Inican device for me. I think they need to look at what they can do about yeah. it. Yeah, oh. there's a few with diff- Tesla. Their buttons are shit, but I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, who fuck. was it that went through a really awful couple of years of 510s? Oh, every fucker. Yeah, no. where they were gluing the 510s and stuff. So people, you know, everyone has their flaws. Uh, drinking this, Ripe Times from Magic that- Rock, Salt... What 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 level of alcohol are we talking in, in the right time? Well, it's a DDH nipper. Double. It's got to be what six seven. Six and a half. Lovely. I bet that's lovely. I haven't tried that one. Oh, it's one of the be- best ones they do. Yeah. See, Rick gets all funny about the um, the uh, 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 salt ones, but I, I don't. I think they're nice. The sour, so mm. oh, I quite like them. Mm. I, this is one of the better ones. I have had a few crap ones. Yeah, I did that great one from uh, Brew York this summer. Uh, Goose Willis, Gooseberry yeah. um, Sour. It's fucking lovely. Yeah. But it was dangerous. Like if you had a sip and you just thought, hot day, eight cans of that. <laughs> and I'm off. That's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That. Uh, after that, I've got High Wire. Nice. I like it. They're that's all good. The, that's, what's, that's what's killed punk for me. Everything killed well, my, the only reason I've got punk is because that's what they sell in Tesco. I literally, f- got... I literally feel like they went specifically after punk with this one, though. Blue and everything. <laughs> I've got 24 cans of life and death at work now. They were delivered today as well. So, good for lockdown. Because it's not reasonable. You know, the to supermarkets leave are still open, don't you? No, but it's not least. It's not. But it's working out. What's, you can't. I could do that if I was going shopping. Yeah, but you can't reasonably you go out. Do. Yeah, yeah, we've already done it. It's already here. The shopping came on Sunday. So I don't have to go out. I don't need to do that. So I'm not... It's not reasonable to do that. Anyway, if you spend 35 quid on uh, vocation, it's free shipping. So... Keith says in chat, uh, Richard, do you recommend the A rise for mouth to lung? Absolutely, I do. It's one of the very few tanks ever that does all levels of vaping well. Obviously, there's a cut-off with direct to lung about 40 watts but below 40 watts it can do everything perfectly and that's because it's so much more you're going to have to get the extra bits you're going to have to get the extra bits to get it exactly how you want it but it can do everything perfect this tank and that's 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 the difference if you like i said in the review if you already had an enduro the one before and you were 30 watts 28 watts whatever banging it away this this does that just as well so, you, but you don't. Therefore, you don't need it. But if you didn't quite get the mouth long you wanted from a previous scrape, now you will get it. I like the reviews that put a massive coil in a tank like that, <clears throat> vape it for half an hour, solid, three milligram, and then at the end, they're like, normally in America, and they go, "Yeah, so I kind of like the tank. I like the vape. It's quite warm, but it gets quite hot." What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you put it on a bonfire, it'll get quite hot. You to yeah. Don't do that with it. It's quite hot. Solid stainless steel construction. That's going to happen. Don't do that. Uh, Actually, all the liquid uh, would be cooked in the tank as well. Oh, do you know what time it is? 
uh, news time. 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're funny to ourselves. And that's the most important thing. Uh, what news outlet go are with you going to refer to? I'm going to go first. with Talking Retail. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be a bit bitchy about it at the same time, but that's fine, because uh, I saw it today. Um, it's kind of a caution, a tale of caution as well. But the same time. Right, the headline is Trade Body Seeks Special Status for Vape Shops. Let me add this, open brackets again, close brackets. The UK Vaping Industry Association, the UK VIA, also known as Big Tobacco, has written to ministers to urge them to give essential status to vape stores to enable them to stay open during the new national lockdown in England. That's exactly what they did last time. The trade body said the premises were among the fastest to adopt social distancing. It's based on nothing. Online sales, not based on anything. And new safety measures following the previous lockdown. It's relative to nothing. John Doon, Director General of the UK VIA, said, I have seen firsthand how UK vaping has risen to every challenge uh, this year with new safety measures, business practices and routines. Every option which may allow us to aid customers is explored. The passion for helping people in this industry is unrelenting. No smoker looking to quit is on their own. Look, I absolutely understand how important vape shops are. I truly, truly, truly do. But we need to have learned from the first lockdown, where initially they had to be totally closed. I think it was only two weeks of fortnight. And then they were allowed to do collections. Uh, and they were always allowed to do deliveries uh, over the phone or whatever. Um, they're not going to change the status. They're not going to let you in the shop because there are other things at play that are as some people would find as beneficial in in these things and you can get them you can get stuff i own a vape i'm coming from i own a vape shop um i had an order uh, um i had a few customers today who picked up from the front door with me holding what well, i think aren't all contactless credit machines they're all wireless now aren't they yeah yeah so i can just hold it at the window and they can put it on the window yeah, yeah that's it done or i can do it on a yeah but you're not allowed to do that you sir. in they lockdown the shop. yeah in lockdown someone can come to your shop shout through the window no no they, 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 they didn't do that they i got a, they pm'd my facebook page click and collect that is click and collect yeah that's allowed yeah that's what i did that's what i'm saying that is allowed they're arguing for opening the door yeah nah are, are opticians open no Oh, yeah, oh, if you've got a medical condition, they are. But apart from that, no. It's not. It's a month. It's a month. You know, if this but, was for the next year... I want to see what people say in chat. Shops have well. to shut. Um, downstairs is all one word, sorry. Um, oh. uh, it's a month. It's a month. It's a month. Do you know what I mean? That's how I feel about it. I feel like... If yeah, it was I, a year, if if it was vape shops aren't allowed to open for a year, I would be campaigning as well, you know? Absolutely. And I do think um, um, Saks Vapes, which is the nearest store to me, I was in there uh, yesterday um, to drop off um, a kit for Mark, who's in chat. They're shut. They're doing pickups from, the, from outside, exactly the same as we're doing pickups from outside. Obviously, you've got the website as well. We had the website before. Um, uh, I just think it's going to be really, really tough. Keith has said the fucking dentist isn't open. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I, uh, it's it, got to be relative. You've got to keep it relative. I think to there, there are things right. First of all, it's uh, four or five. Four. It's probably going to be five week lockdown. Um, so not a particularly long period of time. Can someone get access to vaping products? During yeah. lockdown, yes, yes. Firstly, online. Secondly, in a supermarket. Yes, true. Um, how is it? How is it working this time round with like wine shops and specialist beer shops? They're because specialists. They, they had to shut initially, then realised they were allowed as essential to open. I th I don't know. I know they're all allowed to do collection, click and collect, because pubs are now allowed to do click and collect, mm -hmm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. You can order from... I mean, who the fuck's doing that? I d I, there was a twat who, on the news yesterday, said, oh, we're really chuffed. You're not. That's bad. I wouldn't have taken that. That's bollocks. But they can't take a grant, which they weren't open to last time. They can get a grant, £3,000 a week. Yeah. 
which is a lot for a vape shop. Not not for a vape shop. That's for a pub, <laughs> three grand a week. Uh, I don't know what we. I don't. Nobody knows what the grant situation for vape shops oh, is going to be tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, tomorrow. Nothing. Cons. Everything's locked down. Um, I sympathise, but I sympathise with all businesses that have to shut during this time. You know, um, it's not essential. Yeah, Frank and Miser said. Frank and Miser said. Uh, I haven't been to vape shop in the US for years. I agree. It's, it's only smokers, the smokers, though, isn't it? Yeah, and we had we had, but then when we were open last week, th there's no samples. You can't let them use a vaping uh, thing. You can't let them touch anything they don't own. So, in that regard, it doesn't change. It was so I mean, tough. It, it was like how, doing how in innovative are you as a vape shop prepared to be? Because yeah, you, you have could, to move. You could do a huge poster on your window saying, "Sorry, we've had to close because of lockdown." Are you a smoker who was planning on quitting? Here is our Zoom details. Here is our yeah. email. Happy to have a video call with you any time of day, and we'll talk through your smoking vaping transition. I'll come round to your house and post it through your letterbox or whatever. Put it in the post, whatever. You know, post office. If, well, you, if you look at, yeah, exactly. If you look at, uh, <clears throat> I said Mark uh, and Dan at, at Saks Vapes, the closest shop to me. They're exactly the same as me. You just roll with the punches as best as as best as you can and move on the fly. I mean, it's nothing different than what we've been doing before. And if you're, and if we, you have to stick to the thing, we're all in this together. I'm not taking, there's some of these fucking idiots, like uh, one of the protein powder companies. It is companies. harm prevention, isn't it? Yeah. Locking down to avoid cases of COVID is harm reduction, isn't it? Did you see like that the been... protein powder company had put a, they got an artillery gun and drove it to parliament today with open the gyms up. <laughs> like down the side. Okay. Yeah. Fucking knobheads. Somebody pointed out something. If you're asking for extra money and spending money to hire that to park it outside, you're a div. And I just agree. It did. I tell you, my gym is don't shut. Let them, let them did don't I tell you, my gym is shut? Yeah, he did. It's literally shut. Oh, down. shut, shut down. Shut down. Are they giving you a refund for your subscription for the year? It shut down the day my direct debit comes out. So I cancelled my direct debit. Oh, and it didn't come out. Oh, good. <laughs> um, madness, Wank. though. It was a, uh, yeah. Um, it was a company, a gym chain, that got taken over by Mike Ashley. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. That. Um, but, and so they've immediately streamlined the ones that were profitable, and cl shut them overnight. Literally, no warning, no email, no contact with clients or staff. They literally just <laughs> got a lorry five a.m. in the morning and loaded it up just, with the gear. Just took all the shit That's out. It. Fuck. Sign on the door. However, people that are worried about the gyms being shut walk to the gym. Wave at the door and walk home, and, and you your that. exercise is done. And the gym was incredibly useful. Uh, just to sure. say, Russ Ferguson in chat said, "My bricks and mortar uh, have diversified well. Local free delivery, plus a really good website and the postage so, look, delivery." So, some some vape shops are doing brilliant stuff. You just brilliant stuff. Move with it. Yeah, brilliant it, stuff. it is tough. <laughs> but lots of people have had it tough. Yeah, it's a pain in the balls, but it is for everyone. Everyone. Yeah. I don't think the UK BI have done themselves any favours with that. I, I don't, because we learned our lesson the first time. I'm not, I, I didn't sign the, the, there's a petition going around on change.org. I'm not saying you should do it or not, but think of everybody. Okay. So I, had, I would just say Mick just said he had Bud delivered by the spa today. Was that hate mail or did you order that? Oh, it's a cracking know. drop. If it was, fuck off. Even you wouldn't drink that. <clears throat> Budweiser, then, yeah, but not Bud, Bud Farsa, Budweiser, yeah. Ah, uh, but we're going with Oregon, 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 because it's quite topical. Oh yeah, What's Oregon that? voters enact big hike in cigarette and vape taxes. Oregon nicotine users will face steeper costs for their products of choice starting January first. After Oregonians, That's a cool club, isn't it? You've been a member of the Oregon nicotine users. Yeah, or the Oregonians. Oregonians voted Tuesday to set higher vape and uh, cigarette vape and cigar taxes. Yeah, but it is fucking weird. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Measure 108 will make Oregon's cigarette tax $3.33 a pack, the sixth high, highest in the nation. 
and give the state the highest cigarette taxes outside the northeast that is nothing when you come to the vape taxes because they've done the thing that we were expecting hold what it, are you on about oh it, it it's good i'm going to do you the the vape tax that's what i'm trying to find we don't care about cigarettes do we, we don't smoke oh you bitch i've lost it right i've lost my more. thumb place i've got it i've got it I've got it I've got it, I've got it oh a pack of uh, smokes will cost two dollars more and vaping products will for the first time have a tax of their own 65 percent of the wholesale price not the retail price well that's not proportionate to the cigarettes is it no that's what i mean 65 percent of the wholesale price and who's for this it? biden uh, they voted for it. no no it was on the bill it was on the uh on the ticket Right, and so you could you you could vote for your local, you know, local yeah, government. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the and the bill was on there, so yeah. you could you could go yes or no on of that. Of course, they, of course, of course, of course. And they I voted got, for oh, it. I'm 100 percent up to speed now. 65 <laughs> percent wholesale tax, fucking hell. That's a ruination. That is. We always have in the UK. I've not have a because yeah, we've spoken about this in the show. Straight lines again, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's madness, Just... isn't it? Pushing people to Amazon, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're all. People are talking about the the, the Trumpathon. I think. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but anyway, Oregon, sixty-five percent on retail, which is every quite time a lot. one of these things passes as well. Yes, it uh, it uh, furthers the chance it's going to pass out further. And talking about that, on the, again for the. This is, we didn't really talk about this because it's not worthy of talking about, but it's worthy of talking about <laughs> now. This is where do Biden and Trump stand on cigarettes? I think if Rich is fine with it, I don't think there's any point in talking about what Trump um, thought of vaping. He's lost. He has lost. I think it's just waiting for him to confirm. I mean, we might even get it live on the show. Somebody might tell us. No, no, no. Because we got it'll go on for weeks, I'm afraid, because of the hanging Chad situation. Oh, uh, you reckon the, it... the new hanging Chad of late postal votes? Uh... But but I mean, he might hit 270 tonight if Georgia finishes. Georgia are the closest. He Pennsylvania, he's gonna lose. There's 26 percent of the votes. Oh count. no, I'm I'm I know I'm, I'm a, I agree. Biden's got it. Oh, he's unfortunately. He's, he's Oh, I agree. It's, it's going, going to go to on a, forever. A Bush, but I mean, a Bush style. he could hit yeah. 270 while we're talking. No yeah. politics. Yeah, potentially, potentially. That's fine. Potentially. I have to give you the... Uh, the I Frank, Frank, and, Frank and Amaz has made a point. Well, let's not do the politics. But I just want to give you... I won't, I'm just going to give you... And don't you think Biden. it's fascinating that for all the arguing in Britain about politics, you know, mm. he's a Tory, he's one of those Labour people, etc., it... 90% of Ameri of British people would be Democrats. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I think that's then, fascinating. Because it sort of because is. Because in the, in the UK, we kind of invented it. Yeah. And but so the Democrats... therefore, we're all versions of Democrats. Conservative Democrat, Liberal Democrat. Yeah, that's true. Socialist Democrat, which is Labour. Because, because the Democrats in the US are not um, left. And no. not left, and that's they're, they're choosing right or right, which is fine. But yeah, anyway, I'm move it away from Frank Eisen. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So go on then. What's Biden think about vaping? What does Biden think Sum about vaping? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding again. I'm just for you. Joe yeah. Biden appears to be an outspoken, uh, outspoken opponent to vaping. He's on record as saying that he would ban all vape products once he enters office. He's also on record for endorsing flavour bans and only permitting some of these products restricted sales. Regarding, uh, he, he, then he goes on to weed. He is a big fan of the, of the, of the, of the, of the of Puff the Magic Dragon. He, what, he likes the weed? Loving the weed. He was, he's oh, a he's bit of a legaliser. He's such a isn't he? On weed, yeah. But then Trump was fairly pro-weed. Uh, um, These uh, old stoners. Massachusetts 60s Massachusetts. kids uh, there's quite a lot of uh, there's been a lot of drug um, uh, bills on the on the ticket this time as well somebody legalised all drugs not legalised all drugs decriminalised <laughs> all drugs today didn't they 
one of them did um, on the po on the vote, and it's been decriminalised. So you can only be fined a hundred dollars for having heroin on you, and there's not uh, a federal. Heroin's a lot safer than cannabis. No. <laughs> It's not a federal crime anymore, or whatever it is. Sorry if I've got that wrong. Um, but there's no prison sentence attached, and you actually have to either do a week's rehab or pay a hundred dollars or something. Um, yeah, fair enough. Fucking hell, that's a really good idea to identify the fucking problem. Because if you can understand that, is it George Bush Senior? Yeah, it's like started? speeding ticket, isn't it? What's the fucking point? The war on drugs failed fucking decades ago. Everybody's admitted it's fuck. It's absolutely fucking shit, and they and they've kind of got rid of it. We don't have the same laws in the UK, so it's quite different. But, yeah, we could be in for something spicy. Let's find out. Should we st where did Trump sit on, on vaping? Neither were pro. Let's, where was Trump on it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's quite. Uh, okay, Trump. What, Trump has been on record. Asked, Trump has been on record for supporting the concept of vaping. This, however, doesn't mean he has an overall favourable position for policy and practice. Donald Trump appointed public health officials like Surgeon General Jerome Adams or former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb. Both men were figures in the final months of regulation before lead, leading up to the PMTA deadline and stroking fears over vaping during the non communicable E-V-A-L-I Uvali lung injury outbreak. Trump also commenced the trade war with China, the largest manufacturer of electronic cigarettes, devices and components. This in impacted the industry with new tariffs. Not to mention Trump has done a little for the benefit of vapors and smokers between the ages of 18 and 20. So, he lifted the sales to from 18 to 21, didn't he? So, mm -hmm. uh, that's one of those. Ah, we'll go with the last. Last thing in the news. We've got the first ever... I don't know if this should be a round of applause. Um, <laughs> the first ever vape billionaire. This is amazing wow. when you think about it. Has hit Forbes. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. It's true. It's not, yeah, it's... Yep, yeah. go on. Um, the second is the second richest newcomer on the rich list is S'mores Chen Ziping. I think that's where China's first vaping billionaire founded by Chen in 2009. Shmore International Holdings supplies components for vaping devices to the likes of Japan Tobacco, British American Tobacco, Enjoy. It also sells brands of vapes known as e-cigarettes. The Shenzhen-based company says it is the world's, was the world's largest vaping device manufacturer in 2019, based on its revenue of more than 1.1 billion. Chen, who was also the chairman and CEO, took small public in July, raising more than 900 billion, a million on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. The stock has shot up 20% since its debut, giving Chen a fortune of 9.55 billion. It's um, it's really incredible. It's really incredible. So the small guys, yeah, uh, for people yeah. thinking, oh, it's just like enjoy, and they just did a big tobacco stuff. No, no, they do everything. Uh, Vaporesso is one of their signature brands, one of their main okay. brands. Um, also, it's believed that a lot of the companies, a lot of the mainstream companies, that you can't trace the ownership back. Is small as well, so like right. I joy, enjoy, um, oh, okay, okay. Smoant. It's the ones where there's no actual trail to the, the owner. It's believed it's that they've all been gobbled up, or it all even started as small. Um, it's uh, they. To put it in perspective, Smock is an incredibly lucrative company. Small tried to buy Smock, literally just flat out cash in hand purchase right. of Smock. So they just. Rolling in dough. I mean, if you've hit the Forbes magazine rich list, it's the uh, Hong and, Kong rich list, isn't it? Yeah, as a newcomer at number two. <laughs> yeah, like as in the the not he's not number two on the list, but he is uh, the one of the second biggest newcomer. Uh, and don't forget, it's not like nine jewelry. nine point five five billion. That's uh, unbelievable. Yeah. And don't forget, it's not like Jewel, where Jewel was the clear market leader. They rose in value by dominating the market. Small doesn't even dominate the market. Don't don't sleep on the fact that if you actually followed that list further, 
CEO of Anakin would be right there, right just below that top 100. He's multi, multi millionaire off of Anakin. Uh, there were Tofo guys, the Smot guys. There's so much money in Shenzhen right now due to vaping. Uh, yeah. Not just vaping, obviously, but vaping is a huge, huge factor um, in the whole thing. I'm going to try Must this have been this. Lots of. Um, too dark? Too dark, I think. Um, yeah, lots so of, uh, it's the, the money's crazy, and don't forget it for a second. Don't forget it for a second. What, what happened to all the dropship companies earlier in the year? You mm. know, lots of these companies who are fake. Yeah. In England, they're based in the UK because you buy the company for like I don't know ten grand, and then you and it's dropship, but and you pretend it isn't. There's one in the UK. There's words to back. There's a vape one. Yeah. People, yeah from China. This is what is it's incredible. It's incredible. Like, but actually, small will own some of those as well. Yeah. They're what like, weird thing to like, do. You know? They're like own gear best. And, do you imagine in, and do you imagine in May? Associated. Can you imagine in May when somebody went, "Yeah, I just want that," and you went, "Yeah, well, there's a bit of a delay on that." We'll just get it. We'll get it out of the warehouse. Oh, it's right in the back. <laughs> <laughs> this like... Um, it didn't exist. Now this, we got it. <laughs> I, I heard there's actually only two actual vaping wholesalers in that part of the world. So Right, okay. So you've got like your Alibaba and yeah. Gearbest and Fastech. If you actually go through... And there's loads of like slightly smaller ones, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Um, but if you actually... Collect those all up. They are owned by one or the other. Gearbest. Well, I or, buy. Or fast. So when I buy things like uh, Rick's the same when he buys plastics or something like that, you're always buying off a subcontractor for one of those companies. Yeah. See, I don't buy it through the company. So I, so my agent buys off the manufacturer, and my agent takes a nice bit of the money. Mm. And sometimes you can get in a real like a fucking argument because when I pay, it doesn't go to anybody. It gets locked down and they can't touch the money until I click it on this side that I've got it and it releases it. And that can become quite a fraught argument. It's if they send the wrong thing, you just go, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. And then that's really annoying. Yeah. And Rick's had the same thing. And you don't release the money. Really also, annoying. this isn't like um, it sort of a semi-interesting but ineffective bit of news. The cat's out of the bag now. This, this, this will be this. turning heads in China. This will be turning heads. People looking where to put the next pound. People looking where to start up the next big company on their roster of companies. They'll be looking at this. They'll be looking at this, and the market could get even more flooded because yeah, it's already quite... flooded. Let's let's be wait. Yeah, wait well, Scott... you see the, the new stuff of this week. There's just this week. This thirty thing. You know. Scott, Scott says um, <clears throat> they are rich because we've all got fifty-two mods, but I just need one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Sure. It's, it's yeah. The hobbyist side is lucrative. The <coughs> smoking the more, side yeah. of vaping is lucrative as well. The more people turn, the more the more smokers to come over to the dark side, the better. Wait till actual Chinese people think about vaping. Oh uh, yeah, biggest. It's the biggest uh, tobacco and market. And then you get. That's another billion customers. That'll be difficult. <laughs> be a lot. I don't think so. Uh, but... It's it's ingrained in the culture now, but it was ingrained in our culture. Yeah, it's there's tax on cigarettes. Yes. Yeah, no, I know, I know. It's complicated. It's complicated. But what I mean is, we're what are we? A qu- an eighth of the world has been tapped with this. Result. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. Like India's banned completely. I mean, fuck me if you let them go. And they got uh, and and they started manufacturing in India or something like that. So I, oh, I, I, again, it's going off again. That'd be good. Get the prices right down. <laughs> so yeah, Fuck I it. think that is very newsworthy indeed. Was there one? Was there one more? Is there... No, that was it. Paul. I'm done. The billionaire Oregon retail and Biden. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Excellent. There was one more talking pointy type thing oh, for the new okay. stuff. Came up just before. Um, just before it went, it came on our group, the New Home Show group, just just today actually it came up, um, and I guess it could have been covered in the new stuff, but we didn't cover it in the new stuff. But it is this mod that is now getting talked about, the sub box from uh, SXK. Why the name though? I don't know. I don't. They've know done what, that on purpose. To what to sound off. like what? Sunbox. Do you think? 
absolutely yeah. that's what they've done yeah i get what you get what you mean because it's they're going oh it's like that thing that i, I only it. spotted it the other, only spotted it earlier and i was just thinking you're so dumb as shit i um i right okay Where? so how much do you know about this mod not a lot not a lot no, right. no, no, no. so it's uh dna 60 it's um two mods in one what you've got is a side by side billet box mod so you can put a billet in it and use anything you could in a billet box, atomizer-wise, mm. as a in this device. But also, right. you can remove that and use it as a normal side-by-side -side with an RTA, a sub-tank, what have you. Right. Um, the turning head... I think this is a, it's a very clever product. I think it's very well-timed. It has a very good board and will probably be very well put together. Um, I think it's turning heads because it's so curious and so potentially useful and don't forget it'll be super affordable about 60 quid 65 quid something like that um, not many billet box atomizer based devices can cost 65 quid um, I think that the reason it's caused a bit of a stir is that people feel dirty about wanting it I was going to say because it's, it's made by bit... SXK which is like in the hut it's like it's such a weird if they'd have managed to do it somehow it's like 20... if the nicest beer ever was brewed by nazis yeah if you'd have made it for 30 quid though there'd be less i think people would I make think, no, an I excuse think that'd make you feel themselves. even dirtier yeah but i think they'd be able to excuse it somehow because i don't know 65 i don't know because the Aspire, Aspire um, mix... I don't even know. I mean, someone in chat can tell us. Is it really an evolved board? I don't know. I, I, fuck me, no. Can't be. Because they wholesale at like 18 yeah. quid. Oh, okay. So there's two versions. Budget 60 watt and a DNA 60 watt. The DNA oh, okay. one is more than that. Right. Okay, that right, right. Sense. That makes sense. Because they don't, they don't read that. Makes they don't that makes a lot more sense. That was like, mean, that mean the mod was £9. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've got to make a bit of money on the board. Um, so, I think it is, it is this constant dilemma. We've seen it before, years back. Um, H cigar transition from clones to authentics, um, and a lot of people never forgot. Never forgot, you know. Um, Watofo have copied stuff. Van, Van Die Vape went for uh, a really bad. Faith it's true, copying but, stuff. but 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 I think the problem is they all they all the, the the reason for the forgiveness I think is how early they stopped. And don't forget they didn't clone the bullet box until it was about four years old, which is a really fucking weird thing to do. Yeah. Why the fuck are you making a billet box clone like in fucking two thousand seventeen? That's a really fucking weird thing to do. It's that was how they fucked themselves. I think. So, putting um, the Sam device to one side, I think it's probably pretty good. It's probably going to be pretty good. I don't know how well the billet box aspect will perform. I don't know. But who the fuck are you going to have trouble? We're going to have to wait until someone who owns a billet box buys it. Yeah, for or, the comparison or whatever. I know mix or owns it. Um, I think it'll be a pretty solid device in, in terms of the what to do about this. A company makes something authentic after years of copying. It, Oh, it's 90, ninety-five pound. The DNA one. The DNA one's ninety-five. Um, it's. Uh, I think you can look at it however way you want to look at it. It's a personal mm -hmm. thing. But one thing I used to think when this went round the first time round years ago, when all these companies were transitioning, I was like, should shouldn't they should they be re, should they be rewarded for for making an authentic thing? Should we be encouraging that's the, them that's away the chat from that's clones? going on in the chat? That's, that's what's happening in the chat. Like, um, you, what you, a crazy! If, if this does really well, they'll forget clones and they'll make their own shit. Uh, well, or, no, they won't. Or, no, they won't. Or is, or is the whole empire built on the bodies of the fallen? They're bellies, aren't they? Because they had well, the the um, super tank's been mentioned, which was standout when the super tank came out. It's still one of Craig's favourite things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex host time. of the show, Craig loved the loved it. That, just loved that the was, super. Tank. That was Tobacco. Oh, I thought someone just mentioned it. That's why I said it. I the it Tobacco there. Super Tank was uh, again. Oh, sorry, it was a clone it, made by a clone device. Sorry, that's no, the point, it was it? a real t authentic. No, tank, that's what I mean. Made by a clone, clone company, company, company Tobacco. Yeah, and they stopped then. Mm. <laughs> so it does create these little. I think you just have to go with your own. Thing, but I wouldn't get upset about other people. What, what are people? 
They own a non-sausage limp brand. Yeah, it's true. Why do they call it in chat? Why would you fuck? Would you do that? It's a sunbox joke. But why do it? I don't understand why they went with the sunbox joke. That's a really weird thing to do. That's not accidental. It is stupid. I think it's an interesting device. If you want one, you don't give a shit about all this. What we're talking about, get one. Absolutely. Don't worry about it for a second. Um, if you are, if you have that niggly thought about it in the back of your mind, don't get one. I would say. That that little niggly thing is your conscience. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I think it's I think it's tricky. I would love it if this was the first of many authentic things. It'd from, be good. Um, uh, because if you talk to real clone enthusiasts like Mark the Vaping Postman, they are the best. Apparently, you know, if someone's going to copy a K fun, they they nail it. It's it's as well. Made I always found that me. so weird. Like the like the lies from the clone thing. Like um, a specific person who I won't name always used to state, "I won't even do the accent." Um, <clears throat> that if he bought the mod, if he bought the tank and liked it, he'd buy the real one. He never ever got the real one. <laughs> no. It's a completely that, different. That yes, I know what you mean. One hundred percent. That, that's that was always an, it, no, yeah, exactly. But that was always there an irritating. Of, there excuse. are levels of cloners, though. Yeah, but and to say SXK are considered the, the best. ridiculousness of saying if the clones any good, I buy. That's not true. No one's ever bought a Lamborghini Diablo kit the for their fucking that, escort the, the and then bought a that Lamborghini. Is Craig, who, who's, who's just done it for a laugh. Oh, that's different. Yeah, doing it for a laugh. I bet he already owned the original, so it didn't matter. Not always. But a lot. We used yeah. to like when when I used to run SV. It was always good when somebody with an open mind, I bought it for that reason because then I could get the shots to find the differences between. And there was always, I could you could always do it as well. It was always an error. <clears throat> that's that's. There were some incredible errors. That's a good things. point that's coming from chat, as well. Me sort of saying, well, if Andy Vape have done it, what Tova have done it. I suppose if Absolutely. I suppose you have to define yourself as well what a clone is, because for me it's always been where they've called it the same thing, and they've copied it. If it's if it's identical, identical with the same name, or, or, or if it has got the same, or, or, identical, or it's identical. Or identical. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, uh, pinching, a pinching a dead rabbit deck is not cloning. Nope. It's very unimaginative, cheeky, yeah. cheesy. But it's not cloning. Whereas if you uh, make a K-Fun, it says k on the box and it wasn't made by Smoan. You see, uh, Light, by, uh, Light Smoan Bearer has said it's tricky knowing, uh, borrowing similarities have been around the industry forever. That's absolutely fine. If you look at the EDL Reaper V3, the latest one, if you think of in how many different atomizers have inspired that atomizer, it's incredible. It wouldn't exist without them, but, but that's that's nothing. That that's that 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 doesn't count. That's not a clone. That's that's understanding, especially when it comes to fluid dynamics and physics. Yeah, ha- it makes sense to you. You'd be a fucking idiot to not use the feed system from another tank. You go, oh, that works. Do that. I'm totally fine with that. I'm no problem with that. That's how that's how things evolve to be the best they can be. I don't care. But um, to make it exactly the same is it's bullshit, isn't it? Yeah. Um... <laughs> But I think I think it's all chat. I don't think it's even a debate anymore because everyone just does what they want these days. And we're, but and and we're we're not as arsed, are we? We're not bothered. Me and you aren't bothered. Not as no. I don't run in that industry. We don't we don't want to. There's no clone. Like uh, the Facebook group is zero clones. We never. There's no clones. Don't pit them on. Don't yeah. p- picture them. Uh, we don't want. Don't see them. Just I don't care. Just I've never been our group, but we don't. Yeah, I've never care cared what the fuck. Or... I don't care what people have got. Just don't put it. Or you don't need to post it. And the other one is don't. Um, yeah. Oh, we might have just gone wobbly then, but we should be back to normal now. Uh, Mick Blizzard in chat says, I often wonder if authentic and clone stuff come off the same production line, then the marketing diverges. That has happened. It's it's rare it's, in vaping. It's very rare, yeah. It's rare in vaping, but it has happened. It has happened. It happens Some people... when, it happens when um, European or Western design teams collaborate with a Chinese yeah. factory. Um and that's why it happens in other industries way more. So there are there are one to one clones of TVs, for example, mm-hmm. like an LG TV. Uh, LG. There'll be one with make... a crazy name that's identical in all spec. L- LG basically make ninety percent of flat screens or something. Stupid. They actually make the screen. 
yeah. the actual screen is them are something like 90, 93 yeah, it's percent mad. of the market. It's like, um, but that's, so maybe that's an example. But what I mean is, you know, you'll see. Yeah. Uh, it's like Hot Points and Lucy. They make Bush almost all the watch machines. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, it nearly happened. But saying that, that exact thing nearly happened. I can't remember what component it was. If Rick was here, he'd tell us. Rick had um, uh, he has parts machined in china his new designs and s he saw one of his designs somewhere else and he said like basically uh, i you will be over if 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 that isn't gone immediately and it went because they tried they hadn't actually made them they hadn't done the run on the machine so they were they it was up for sale so if anybody had ordered it, the run would have gone through the machine. And so he managed to prevent it by saying, I know where the fuck that came from, because it's impossible it came from anywhere else, because only you've seen it, dickhead. And then uh, it disappeared immediately. Because yeah. Rick wouldn't have paid his bill, and it is tens of thousands of pounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on to when Rick does something, he, the, when, when it goes to the prototype stage, oh, fuck, I'd love people to understand how the fuck out. Yeah, the it's a huge, in. huge leap. Um, Lightbearer in chat says, at some point, absolutely, the ideas are going to reach a saturation point, and RDA, RTA, etc. can only be made so many different ways. Uh, but it's much do, larger I, than you think. I, yes, I do understand. I do completely understand where you're coming from with that point. However, we're what eleven years in, we're still going, um, and people said that about vacuum cleaners in the eighties. Yeah, Look where we're at now. Decades left of it. So I, I know I completely appreciate what you're saying, and I'm, I'm there. I'm happy with what I've got. <laughs> but uh, I, you'll be surprised how long and how many things change and how it all changes. We're still waiting on batteries. Don't forget, we're a couple of years away from a completely revolutionary battery, which changes vaping. So, and that's Big that's, that's near history. So. Do the last thing. I'm thinking of BB bridges. I have a clone, and it's identical to the original. It depends what you mean by bridge. If you mean a bridge from the mouthpiece to a uh, stock coil, then it might be yeah, the, it might be the Nautilus be. one or something. Yeah, Could but be. it would be. Could be. But that's Could just. Be. But that's just. That's that. That comes down to not yours, Mick, but it comes down to the morals of the person who's done it because clearly that is just a metal tube. Have you got fireworks again? Oh, God. Oh, this is it all night. Oh, fucking hell. You live near some white quite, shitheads. <laughs> quite a quite built up area. Um, so, yeah. That's that. That is that. Um, I th Always worth revisiting every now and again. Yeah, definitely. Um, we do need to do this. New Will stuff. This work. New stuff. Yeah, I can, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. It's not very close, but I can see it. Is it getting close? <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's start with this one. This uh, is the Artery Vapor Cold Steel AIO. Uh, we f I think we've shown this before, but now they're really showing us how it works and everything. Yeah. Um, including quite an interesting looking RBA. It does look quite grown up now. It's not like that. Yeah, that's a proper deck, isn't it? That's almost um, what was it? Mike Vapes was it the Profile RDA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them. Um, it's that's a legitimately proper rebuildable it's a, it's a very, section. Isn't it? It's a very 2019 deck, isn't it? Yeah, it's a huge it it 2019. Was, deck. It's an it's an all right deck. It's actually Kel oh, yeah. Kelpie esque as well. Um, it is. Which <laughs> EH Pro Artery was thingy, wasn't it? Which did the Kelpie. So there you go. Oh, was it? <laughs> so the Kelpie lives through uh, an AIO. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. Um, I don't love I don't. the look of it, and there's a million. Do you know? What? I, I I think at least the body's quite grown up. I don't mind. Yeah, it it's yeah, it is. It is grown up. Um, yeah, you wouldn't it's look slightly like a... too late, isn't it? There's a lot of them. It is. It's very very late. I like this. I've seen this banging around everywhere. Yeah. So this is the Aspire Sigs. Yeah. Uh, they say, oh, they they've linked up with No Name, isn't it? Yeah. And it's yeah, yeah, yeah. the Zero G Pod system. Uh, I think it's stunning. Stunning. That's looking. so grown up. I mean, like, and I totally get it's not out. Like, it's not, um, you know, it's not aimed at me and you. But I, I, I think it's I that on your table. I'm all right with that. Do you reckon it goes down to mouth to lung? It's got. I mean, it goes five to forty watts. I hope so because it looks like a classic mouth to lung tank. It does. I don't mind any of it. 
What do what do we know what the no there's no information on the coils or anything? Uh no. We oh, don't have shame. information on the coils. Um I wanna see it. It's gotta be pre made coils though. Mm -hmm. Um I I mean I'd be happy if they just said it's a spire coil it's uh Nautilus coils. Yeah, I but I quite like the idea you know, if if I'd got that in the shop, simply telling someone to twist the bottom is a lot easier. People get really some people get really scared off from the digital display. Oh yeah, definitely, for sure. Just going, fucking hell, I'm not a fucking maths professor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Uh, I think I like that. The the success or what should we call it? The hit rate on these high end uh, uh, mainstream end collaborations are so seems so much higher than the reviewer collaborations. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the this that against, that for me that looks great again. That looks great again in my opinion. Uh, not quite as pretty. Uh, this is the uh, Org Vape. The, the Org Vape intake subum tank, uh, but now it's got a tube. I don't think it's well, it the goes... intake tube as such, but uh, they're bringing out a tube. They don't go thing. together. No. I don't mind the bottom. I don't mind the top. But not together. Well, the bottom does look like a dildo. Yeah, yeah, it does look like a weapon. <laughs> a mar marital weapon. A marital aid. That yeah. would be called the Exocet, uh, if you're a Fred West. X-Flash Tube Mod. Yeah, it's quite close. I was only joking about the Exocet thing, but yeah. <laughs> that's uh, so that's that's a new thing. Um, Get Rose West's favourite. Does uh, Moda seem learned. to be going back to the old don't car key thing? That. Don't do that. Where are we? Two thousand. That's that was that was the trend. Two thousand seventeen. I suppose they can't say that kids can hide it in school because kids don't drive. They also don't walk around with a jewel in their bra. But you know, generally yeah. speaking, I don't. I don't. I just. I. I don't get that, and they never work. That. That's my issue, and that's a part on the top. It's going to have a tiny, tiny battery. It's going to have a lot of flaws. In my yeah. opinion, but again, ignition these, these, pod kit. Ignition no. pod kit. These things just come back round and round, don't they? Yeah, and I don't think that one's going to change change it. Speaking of which, I actually have one of these. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, this is the, the <laughs> Mac Pod Circle. I mean, that is what the car key thing we just showed is. It's just mm. a different shape, isn't it? Could you imagine pulling that like out? You know, if you're like you in a dinner in, in a restaurant, and they said it was a you know uh, quite. Because I've been able to vape in quite posh restaurants, just said, uh, uh, weird question, I suppose you can vape. And they go, yeah, it's fine. And then you pulled that out. <laughs> it's very small. Mm. <clears throat> you might play, people might think you're going to play a tune and turn all yeah, the tables, yeah. turn all the chairs <laughs> around. Go, go for it. <laughs> just start whistling. Or... Uh, yeah, quite uh, You could use it as a beer mat. Yeah, I mean, vape that. a vapable beer mat. I don't, I don't, I haven't got an opinion. I just don't get that at all. That's a, it's a really I weird idea. I haven't used idea. it yet. I'll let you know next that time. That is some bad Photoshop as well, because there must be floating. <laughs> How the fuck could some shitty digital artistry there? That is, that person is not holding them. Possibly not. No. Don't know for sure. Oh, I suppose that, that light bear has not got a bad idea. Well, that isn't far off the shape and size of a of a compact, a lady's compact. It's very comparable. I have one, but I just can't. You I'm, have a compact or one again. of them? Oh, okay. I have one of these circle kits. An Axpod circle kit. Um, I just haven't had a chance to vape it yet. Did you just hold it up to the camera? Because I really hope you did. Oh, no, I will have to. Oh, right. I will have to I, no, I thought you had, and I was like, ha ha ha, we can't see you. Oh, that was quite good. Someone okay, said it I'll, would... I'll, I'll, I'll pull one out in a minute. Okay. Uh, so, that's that. That's the circle. A lot of people are threatening to skim it across some water. Oh, when it runs out of juice, you might as well. Yeah. Uh, this is this mod. That Why use a black before. background? I know, these people. That is so fucking stupid. Uh, it's This is the new one from Dovpo DNA 250C. We talked about it last week. We think that top cap is, if you want to convert it into a squonker, top side style yeah. squonker. Um, and th this is just a lot better picture than last time. That's why I've showed it again. It yeah, was, it we couldn't tell what was going on last time. It's a classic. I do. I. Big I device. think in hand, I think that'll look quite good. Mm -hmm. I mean, just it, it's such a difficult thing 
Like when they put it on the back of a fire. I don't really get that. It's a handsome it's a handsome big mod. And it'll be alright. This one has caused a stir has this it? week. Um I think I saw it in the shed, people saying they liked the look of this. Kind of that high endy style. Really? Yeah. That's uh, not high end. Maybe this isn't the most flattering picture. But it, it, it has got a little bit of that sort of... It's the ZQ Ascent. It looks like the... Uh, it looks like a posh version of the old RX300. I really get it. Yeah. It's, but it's got that sort of classic metal... Is it a dual or is it a single 18650? Uh, no. It's got oh. a 250C in it, I think. Oh, what? So it's got an inbuilt... It's got a... a, 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 I do, a, a I it, inbuilt patch. I think it might be dual 18650. So oh, okay. a two fifty C down to one eight eight or whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, I think it looks all right. Get yours until supplies last. That's a good sentence. <laughs> I, it, I, 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 th- I will maybe I'll dig Get out another yours. picture next week because I, it, I think it is quite pretty. Uh, this is, I believe, this is a new sub from iJoy. Ah! This is what's making this guy that those billions. Um, and the flash. iJoy flash tank. Oh. This is a new sub tank, I believe. Uh, I don't know. Why that. or why do they always use the rainbow as a promo? Like the black one's fine. Do you I know what? They must be a part of the world where the rainbow ones sell out hotcakes. Smash it. I reckon it's the Philippines or something. It's not being racist. Just it's... No, it probably is because they're a huge market and we don't know what Massive they do. Massive market. Uh, gas mods. We like gas mods. Yeah, they seem to have a way of doing something interesting each time. Is that, is that a concept or is it real? That's quite a difficult picture. I don't. The mod, the tank is out. It is out. Okay, it's, it exists in the world. I yeah, bet Mark so, Todd's got one. Yeah. I don't hate that. The, the drip tip's fucking terrible. Like if you change that, it immediately. It's one of those where you change the drip tip and you'd immediately change the look of the whole thing. I don't mind it though, and I, I hear tip. it's a fantastic vape. Oh, I want to see. Let's see, Mark. And look at that. That goes down. That's like 0.8, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah. That's 0.8 and a 1. I quite like that. That looks like a mouth to lung. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, it's a mouth to lung RTA. Sorry. You should get one of these, John. I might. I might. I might. 20 I quid. Might. Money are on. 20 quid? Yeah. Yes. I'll be getting one of them. You That's get, get one of them. Get one of them because you I know your mouth to lung. Oh, I, yes. I think it's a handsome tank. I really do. I do. I'll throw the drip to it. Are you going to get somebody. brushed or. I think I go brushed. I don't really do chromey. Yeah, like good call. Um, I bet. I bet you're not going to run out and get one of these. This I is don't the, know. I would see the from yeah. Death. Look at that. Look at the picture on the side. <laughs> look at the picture. That is what I'm doing. Oh. No, um, but look at like why the fuck would you make that your logo? That's so. Shit. It's a mongrel. Yeah, the glass is great on the left. What the fuck is that on the right? Do you know what with know. the glass though? Unless things have changed, uh, I can't it's remember. Pyrex, isn't it? It's not. Pyrex. Can't remember which one I had. I had it was called like the something fish, like bonefish mm. or something like that. Uh, a couple of years ago, <gasps> hot as fuck. I this, see. But the second you have a vape, it just looks like a smoky, juicy, cloudy. Yes. Yeah. True. It looks great until you vape it. Um, I hate it. Do you remember the Doge? Do you remember when the Doge? Yeah. Came out? Oh, brilliant. I, it changed. Like the Doge changed drippers forever it was 20 quid i think i did it as on kickstarter it was 20 quid it was like ridiculous yeah and it was and it for for what it was it was cyclops or whatever intakes and it was like, incredible I mean, it just changed the game but it had a fucking awful graphic on the side like it was for kids yeah that, I don't dog, understand that. that dog that thing. dog yeah i get i know i know that like, anybody's gonna go no it's the meme i understand that no but, no you're right you are right it was an inappropriate Logo. Yeah, just get rid of the fucking logo. Even didn't mind the name, it's fine. Doge, it's fine. Doge competition. Okay, fair enough. Uh, this is a new idea as well. And this one is from Geek Vape Tech. Geek or Vape Geek Tech. Vape, as they're affectionately referred to. It's uh, the Talo X. Um, now, you may be able to find reviews for this, but they're not revealing the deck. Geek Vape are not revealing the deck. I want to the see deck. the deck. Yes. They're not revealing it, uh, but if you if you shop around, you might find a review. That could be for you if if the deck's right. You, you want I one? think that's to me. To me, I, I, I glance at that and I, it feels single coil squonky. Uh, so that's a thing. So if I press this, 
Rufus, what whistles, apparently? Oh, the tallow. Does it? Uh, does it? Is that what they're saying? Uh, if it does, that sucks. Could do. It's not. I mean, there's no. Oh, or maybe the, the gas mod. Let, please let us know what whistles now. Rufus, let, if let that us gas know what mod whistles. whistles, then we're gutted. I quite like the fact that that looks like a cryptic crossword pass um, clue. Whistles, apparently. Ah, oh, well, whistles, apparently. Um, yeah, seven <laughs> words. Whistles, apparently. <laughs> yeah, but... oh, I don't fucking know. Do you want to see yeah. the Max Pod circle in real life? Yeah, do it, and then we'll see the. Um... Do, 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 do. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna need, hey, need the answer. As, as a long time fan oh, of my channel, Roof is apparently wishbone. The fishbone whistles. The fishbone. Fish the fishbone. Whistle. That was the the idea I had from three years ago. Um, oh, okay. No, I want to hear the whistles. Apparently, the roofers, the gas mods, RTA whistles. Oh no, that sucks. There's no that's the, that that will drive you fucking mad. Well, I'm gonna look into that. Mm. Um, not because I'm calling you a liar, uh, but because I, <laughs> well, that's interesting to me because I've you heard very so. good things. You just have to get a bevel on, uh, beveled edge on the intake. It's the only thing way to stop it. It's as as a long-time follower of my channel, John, mm. only due to our friendship, um, no. not due to my brilliance. That's like a cheeky face. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, what colour do you think they sent me? Uh, I would have sent you the rainbow one. <laughs> Red and black. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, I don't mind that. That's fine. Like colour wise, I don't like it, but it's colour wise. That is it. See if could you not? Are you going to review that? Are you, is is Mrs. Then. Richard? Are you going to give it to Mrs. Richard? Yes. Because I think Mrs. Richard might like that more. Because the compact destroy it thing. In two days. Yeah, but that's perfect. That's what you want. It's the good test. The only devices she can. Oh, use... I've lost your sound, Richard. Ooh, don't say that. Oh, back. You're back. You're back. <laughs> Fuck, the, that was uh, scary. The only devices she can use are the ones with lids. Yes, so she doesn't. Because they go in the. In the, end. the yeah, the but magical. I want to see. That's fine. That's what they're there for. Fuck it. Fuck uh, it up then. So that's the pod? Yeah, it's special, isn't it? Uh, tiny, tiny coil inside. Uh, obviously, you just got your thing. Uh, it's small, though. Very small. Rasper's digging into the gas mods palace as well. It isn't a tight drawer either. The undercoil airway is too big to make it proper. Oh. Well, you heard it here first. The palace. What's everyone is that, on about? Is that my the 20 pe- quid? The people that have given it good reviews probably got paid. Mark likes it tight. I like it tighter. Uh, that's always <laughs> been the way. Uh, I'm just looking for a button. Oh, there's a button. Yeah, there's a button. Oh, there is. Thank God. Oh, is it there? With your mouth? Oh, I will tell you one thing. Um, oh, you can't. I was going to no, go have a puff. Button's you can't there, the burn there. Oh, okay. Fine. One thing I know about this through looking at box, uh, you can't change a coil. Yes, yeah, so it's a whole new big. pod each time. Okay, I still want to know. Yeah, but I think people people don't like that. I know that people don't like get that. Mrs. Richards to give it a go. She'll love it for two days, and then she'll be like, oh, "When I suck on it, tissue paper goes in my mouth." She's the. But you have to admit that is the perfect person to have it, and she's got the perfect husband for somebody who breaks fucking shit all the time. You just give her another I think one. That's why she does it. Yeah. Because it's not if it a wasn't, problem. If it, yeah, because it's not actually a problem in her world. Do you have that thing so, in your someone house? Someone else would go. I need to put. I need to put my vape somewhere not in my handbag, wouldn't they? Do you know, we have this thing in our house, which is me saying, um, "I'll use an example that isn't true because it does still does still exist." But let's pretend, and I'll say, "I really wish we still had that three foot um, spirit level because this putting up the shelf would be so much easier if we had that." Oh, what'd you do with it? To me, what'd I do with it? What'd you do with it? What'd I do with it? You threw it in the dump because you said we hadn't used it for X amount of time and you felt that that didn't, wasn't necessary anymore. No, I wouldn't have done that. What the fuck? Where did I put it then? Up my ass. It definitely, that's exactly where it is, in the dump. That's what happens every time. Stuff that she's the Mitch thrower out, or you're the thrower out. She's the thrower out. I'm the thrower out. Oh no, she's a sod. I've thrown out thrower. about three neutral bullets. Oh yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, they're not. They're the problem is. Oh yeah, oh, okay. But here's here's the fucking issue with you thrower out with people. Then this won't be this. My wife, my mother-in-law said to my wife last weekend, "Don't forget to take the weights with you." 
because we were around there for I wouldn't call it dinner because dinner uh, pertains to something edible. We were there for stuff on a plate, and I said, and anyway, said, uh, "Don't forget to take the weights with you." And I looked at my wife and said, "Weights? What's your mum to what what?" And um, she said, "For the scales." And I said, "What scales?" She yeah. said, "You know, for the old scales." Yeah, yeah. So you put the weights on that side. There's digital scales in the kitchen. But I said, what would what you mean? What? If we haven't got room for a fucking mixer that I will use with a dough hook on it, how the shit have we got room for decorative scales? And she said, they'll look good. Mm. They'll look, they, yeah, because they're not going in the kitchen, are they? They're going to go on a windowsill. Yeah, they'll go on the windowsill in the kitchen. Yeah, but it'll look great. Well, I'll sellotape the mix to the fucking ceiling if that's the rule. What you need is a Victorian mixer. Well, we had one, but she threw the fucker <laughs> away because I'm not that bad. I hadn't used it. I had a Kenwood mixer, a Ken, like a proper old seventies Kenwood mixer, and it got tossed when we moved house. Yeah, because I've thrown away be a seventies Kenwood mixer as well. You fuck face. Do you uh, know it, was said... that, uh, it was hundreds of pounds. Yes, they're hundreds of pounds. Yeah, it was like a family heirloom. Yeah, 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 that's exactly it. Was well, a, it's... Not a family heirloom, it's a tradition in Sarah's yeah. household that when a woman gets to a certain age, she gets a Kenwood mixer. Yeah, you need a Kenwood. You can fix like a million different appliances. There's like shit you can do plastic surgery with if you attach it. They're amazing, Kenwoods. Right, oh, we've got 30 minutes to go. Should I run up? No, we haven't got 30 minutes to go. Oh. When we're done, we're done. But feel free no, to No, no, but I'm going to do the raffle. Say. What's the oh, raffle? God, God, you need to tell everyone about the raffle. <laughs> I was Begin up telling people about that. Begin to. Uh, <clears throat> we've got no alcohol for the raffle. Right. I'm going to lay it out like a like poetry or not. I'm going to do my absolute best. <clears throat> uh, I will explain in detail, more detail tomorrow. Everybody, 2020, we've all decided is total shit. We all agree on that. I, like I know, by the way. Uh, when I get to the end of this, uh, and I, you know, and we, and we go live and stuff, and, I, and we put the the raffle live. If you don't buy tickets because you're having a rough time at the moment, or you know things are a bit tight at home, nothing. I no, I'm not n- nothing at all. It totally makes sense. I absolutely understand what people are going through. It's yeah. absolutely shit. But that's also why we're doing it. So we're teaming up with Vape Don't Smoke again, uh, Paul McCartney. Um, firstly, I'm asking, oh, when I get to the end of this, if you've got any prizes that you want to give and you own a vape company or just a really nice person, you've got a really nice mob that you want to give to the raffle, let me know. Uh, and I'll put together a prize list. Anyway, so we're going to be doing a raffle this Christmas for two separate things. And um, we're going to be doing Second Chance Scotland which we know is for victims of domestic violence and their families who are in, normally they're in emergency accommodation. We did it last year. What we do is all absolutely all the money is spent on Amazon. We're hoping to take advantage of Black Friday, which is the 27th of November, um, where Paul will buy as many Christmas presents as he can for a designated age bracket which is normally given by the charity i think last year they were short on female and male gifts for children between 10 and 15. obviously it's going to change hugely this year because it's so everyone's got such little money um and so paul went and bought things like hair straighteners hair dryers um psps i'm really shit if i get the name wrong yeah, i'm so like sorry no, kindle fires and amazon kindle fires, fires and, yeah. amazon fires comic books stuff like that and it's all it is is so that one kid gets a christmas present this year that they, they wouldn't without you they won't get any christmas presents at all and i know we're all fucking old people who don't really care about presents but it really makes a difference to a kid to get a gift they don't understand that there's no you know when people don't get any money um so that's the first charity. So the the majority of the money is going to go to Paul. Last year, we raised over £1,500 for Second Chance Scotland and their gift drive. So, yeah, Paul buys all the stuff, all gets delivered to his house. Paul films himself opening uh, all the parcels and showing you all the gifts. And then they all get picked up by a driver um, in December. And then they all get wrapped up and given 
um, to the uh, women's refuges is what they are uh, to families, kids and stuff like that and the second um, amount of money uh, the second sorry, the second charity we're giving to £500 is going to be deducted from whatever the total is Brad is going to be given the five hundred pounds under, <laughs> uh, 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 he, uh, and he's going to spend that five hundred pounds uh, for food for a food bank that's local to Brad in Brad from the show. Brad from the show. Brad, South African Brad from the show. He lives in where does Brad lives? By the sea Folkestone. in Ke- Folkestone. In Folkestone. Um, he's going to spend £500 on food and take or have picked up £500 worth of food for a food bank in um, Forgotten Early Folkestone. Um, we've picked a food bank in Folkestone. The food bank in Folkestone is the Salvation Army food bank in Folkestone. We're not giving them the money. They're only getting the food. And the reason that the food bank, that one's been picked, is because the only one that doesn't require, doesn't receive... One of the only, there might be others, uh, but it doesn't receive uh, financial support from the government or hasn't done in, lo- in lockdown. Food banks were given financial support by the government yeah, because, crazy they're money they were getting. Separate, <laughs> because they're separate sort of companies or, or, or organisations. They were given money, but they're not. The Salvation Army doesn't work like that. Um, so we want to give £500 um, worth of food from you to them. And we can only do it with your support and we can only do it with vape company support if you know a vape company that wants to give us some prizes or you think might give us some prizes let us know i'm going to put a post up tomorrow we're going to start the ticket sales on sunday brad's working on an excel sheet it's going to work exactly the same way as it's always done in the past it's going to be five pounds a ticket it's going to run until if my maths are fucking anywhere it will run nearly for three weeks it's going to run to the 26th of november We'll call it on the 26th of November so that Paul can spend it on the 27th on Black Friday and buy as we so we can get as many gifts as humanly possible on the Friday the 27th. Um, we'll probably do the food run slightly later and we're going to try and get loads and loads of footage, really. I think Paul's videos are fantastic. Paul does all these videos of stuff arriving and um, and going through it. And as I said, you did it last year and you gave us £1,500. Obviously, just had Nick all give prizes um, and we'll... I know, I'll give I know Richard's going to give prizes. Uh, I'm sure I can get Rick. Well, I'm sure lots of people. I'm sure we can get loads of friends in this business to give us stuff that we can give away. But you can really change lives this Christmas, especially with the Christmas present drive. And especially because, uh, I don't know if you know, little things like... I'm a non-believer, <laughs> but my mum's a preacher and she works within the Salvation Army. But they're not doing... The Salvation Army aren't doing a Christmas meal this year. They've already cancelled it. Uh, so all the people, lots of people rely on that every Christmas. And this year they're getting a parcel of food. Shit needs to go in those parcels so that people are on their own. This Christmas we haven't got any food. They're going to have something. Um, Samuel Adams, I'll see what I can sort out. Uh, yeah, what we normally do to just say, if you donate prizes and you contact me and I say, great, and I accept it and put it on the list, you just keep the prizes and then send the prizes directly to the winner. I'll give you the name of the person who's won. And yeah. they'll won. I'm going to put some good shit in. Uh, Andy, I totally agree. I'm normally anti Sally Ann. That's why this is, this is absolutely why there's no money. There will never, there, there will never be any cash either way. We don't do that. We don't expose it. The money is will be turned into goods and given to them. That's exactly why we do exactly the same thing with the presents because uh, we feel that if you if you do if you play along with us, well, we try to make sure that you get you see what's done with it. Um, you fucking paid for like half a room. In a in a cabin that's still being used now by um, uh, Maria Hansen's charity. We try to do what we can, so you can see it. And this time, you'll really be able to see it. Brad's going to film himself walking around Tesco's or Sainsbury's or whatever. It's going to be a sweep. I've already yeah, I've already spoken to him. He's up for it. He's, he's doing get, it. He's going to get 
Nice How do you fit five hundred pounds worth of shit in the trolley? Don't know, but I, I'm up for this. It's going to be absolutely. Well, awesome. it's not. You can't. I feel the trolley. Five trolleys go. What, yeah, how does one man push five trolleys? Oh, he's got he's got a wife and stuff. They can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Um, yeah, but I'm going to put all the G cells up tomorrow, and there'll be more of a teaser post, and I'll do a big bleaty speech like this, and then we'll go again tomorrow. You can fill it up if you get whiskey. Yeah, okay, but yeah, just scotch. Five bottles of really good scotch, and then just take it in. <laughs> Done. <laughs> um, uh, what we say about just add nick dot just add nick dot org dot uk. In um, summary, there's going to be a post to look out for on the Facebook group tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. With laying it all out, we're doing the charity on, thing for Christmas. It'll be, be ready. it'll be on ours, and it'll be on vape don't smoke, and then it should go live on Sunday. Uh, Brad's worked on the Excel sheets because I've asked him to. Um, Russell Blair sends a little. Wherever they want us to send him to, wherever the the charity wants us to go to, he's going to go there. I don't know, so I'm saying Tesco's. So he can go wherever. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah, the fuck yeah. it is. We're just going to get uh, loads of food. It might be 500 quid worth of pasta, but I don't reckon it's going to be. Um, but he's going to walk around and do it all and, and do everything for us. I think it's going to be good. I, yeah, I kind of. <laughs> it's quite a tough one. The Sally Ann thing, the, the Sally Army thing was a choice on purpose because I can speak to the person who runs the food bank. I can't speak to anybody else well, because I know the contact details. Um, I know how it works because I used to work I used to work at a soup kitchen for the Salvation Army. Nothing to do with my mum. I just did it anyway. It was all prostitutes and smackheads. But it was alright. Mm, it's a really right. good way of getting some contacts. <laughs> so unless it kicked off in the queue. It always it was always a helper kicked it off in the queue and then it was always like near punch up in seconds. Um bastards. Yeah. Anyway, we do that. Just add nick.org.uk. Go over there right now and buy stuff. Um we're really low on uh the thing we the biggest low thing we've got is can only be Graham has gone stupid and the only thing I've got left is kits. Um uh I might uh no I won't do that. No, I don't yeah. do that. No, but... I'm not gonna do that. Go You've over. got some new nice stuff coming as well, haven't you? No. No. We should have said yes. Yes, we have. We've got a new... We're gonna, we've got a whole more... Oh, Canadian... Cactus Gin. Oh, was Cactus that, Gin. That was new, wasn't it? That was last week. That was it? new, yeah, because we weren't live. Cactus Come Gin on. from Cactus Punch. That has gone absolutely, stu- absolutely stupid. So if you know Cactus Punch, I could explain it and say it's Cactus Punch with the mint element removed and uh, a added. junipery gin yeah. put in with a bit of uh, quinine tonic in there too so it's really super zingy and really nice it really goes with the beer as well um that's gone absolutely mental as the canopy grams low we'll get we'll be getting a new load of canopy grams before christmas uh it should uh, be gin and lemon it is oh is it well lemon it's that tonic. sounds lovely yeah, it's gin, lemon, and no, yeah, yeah, but it's got cactus in it because it's cactus. Sounds ace. Uh, it's really, really nice. And um, we've got uh, there'll be a new, there'll be a crack revisit before Christmas as well. It's really difficult. Uh, Mark, um, uh, who people in the chat know from uh, of of lemon crack fame, he's a very international man, and he's been moving. Every time he's left the country, he has to quarantine for another 10 days. So it's been really difficult all the way through. Yeah. And he's championed the whole thing, like done amazingly well. And and he's got a proper job. That's what I mean. That's the and proper he's job. rolling in it. So, <laughs> so he doesn't even need it. It's kind of a love project. He really doesn't. Do you know what I mean, though? That makes sense, doesn't it? He does it because of the love of the game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it does just to literally do it for you because he got off flavour like correct. Oh, I'll tell you what, here's this. This is, I don't know how to do it. I've had, uh, I've been doing a test over the last three weeks. I've given up on Campbell, it's finished. I knew you were going to say that. I've been using NI80, um, low, high resistance coil with one ohm. I have in here. This, right. And it doesn't look overly not grim, but when I tell you, look, look at the coils, that is 21 days old. And it's had two of the cleanest liquids on the market, which is cactus, gin, and uh, lemon crack. It's the only thing that's gone through it. 
It's three weeks old. Will Brasbury Mint ever be back, John? Hi, John. Don't buy it. Um, <laughs> it. It's nothing to do with me. It's to do with DB. Uh, DB's not functioning anymore. Not really. Not as a vape company. Don't please, please, please don't buy directly. Um, if you, uh, John, you know me. Send me a message. But there's a, a, a. I've got a recommendation for you, which tastes is the closest thing. I don't need to do that. It's James's. It's um, One Punch. One Punch, yeah. By James. That's the mint one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. I, like, yeah. I really like uh, it. Go, go, go. Buy buy some One Punch off of James's company. James Blythe. Uh, no, what's the company? Uh, handlebar or Mustache? Or Handlebar's anything? Vaping Elixir. Go on, or just send uh, Blythe a message. PM James. PM James. Get some One Punch. It's the closest thing. It's cleaner than, than uh, Brasby. Please don't buy off DB directly. Don't. <laughs> Because it's not DB. Uh, well, it's not that. It won't turn up. All oh, right. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and we will go. see you soon. See, you, I'll give you the baffle, baffle, little, little raffle details. Yeah, raffle, raffle details tomorrow. tomorrow on thing. Keep an eye out. Uh, Going to be loads of good stuff with that. It's always good fun. Uh, thank you for watching. It's been brilliant, hasn't it? Really good. Bye.